welcome back to Wrestling Empire, a booking career on the Nintendo Switch, finally on a roll here with strong style wrestling. We are now in Alaska, we are taking over North America, way north, but we're doing it here. So you can see I still need the other important parts there and then head south perhaps, but we're getting there slowly but surely one show at a time. Now, Alaska loves jackhammers. We don't have Goldberg, unfortunately. And they don't like vanilla midgets, as Kevin Nash would put things. And yes, uh, don't book the short guys, I think is the thing there. So don't book Brian or Finn Balor or, I mean, look. We got some guys here that are tall and some that are short. So it is what it is. We do have a full roster here. And unfortunately, Sid is not here yet. Sid is very tall. But definitely book Kane, book Needles, book Drew, you know, are tall guys. We do have ratings of 80, and that went down because of Randy for some reason, even though Randy is pretty popular here, like Randy Orton, who's our champion, is currently 80 in popularity. So that's pretty good. Now, he won it from Drew, and Drew is 78, and Kenny Omega is 74, and he has a part-time deal. So we, we cannot book Omega on this show here in Alaska. So that is what it is. We still have a lot of talent here to book on the show. Let's get down to our card. I'm going to try something here, right? Because the secret has been to book those four-man Elim matches. Now, what if I book a four-man Elim match and hit simulate? Will that give me the same result as playing it myself? I'm going to say pro probably not, but it's worth a shot because because usually, there's at least one match on this on these cards that ends up being terrible, so that's fine. So JBL, Miz, Bald Order, and Tiger Mask open the show. No script, just fists here on the show. And it is a fatal, ah, crud. I forgot to put it as a, ah, hold on, hold on. I, I know I can quit here and back out and do it again. So that much I've learned that, hey, you aren't stuck with it if you don't simulate. So you can quit. Wait, no. I can't just quit? Bro. I can't just quit. No, no, no. I've done I've, I've done it before. I've quit. And are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've quit before and it let me redo it. What happened there? So what changed there, if you're wondering, is that if you quit during the intro walk to the ring stuff, the match does not count. If the bell rings, no matter what you do, it counts. Here comes Raven, kept his hair after beating Snooka in that hair versus hair match, even if his head isn't actually bald because of this game's weird, so I don't know. But, that being said, I do want to know, with this whole simulation, if I can just hit the button here, and yeah, three and a quarter. So, Matt Hardy mad at Lita, this show is off the rails. It's a crazy Thursday, uh, but at least I will be sitting here for an hour and a half, so that's a good thing, I suppose. But no, we're supposed to win here in Alaska. We're on a roll with strong style, so that's a problem. That is a serious, serious problem. Uh, a four-man at 11 seconds? What? What? Matt Hardy to heal. Okay, sure. Soka has improved. Haku not affected. Uh... Lita went home early, uh, Jeff Hardy disappointed as his client lost, and here we are on a quarter star show in Alaska. That means it's time to play the game. Four man elimination, Minoru Suzuki, Kane, Luke Harper, and Devon testify. That's the deal here, let's see how it goes, if I can get up to and salvage this show at least a little bit. Like, at least a three-star show. I'm, we're, we're not going to hit that 6K target now because things went wrong and real rotten. But salvage it somehow in my budget would be nice. But murder grandpa in the building. So he's all right. And Kane's tall, and this should be fine. Harper's tall. Uh, they should like this match, I hope. I hope. Lenient rules here in the four-man Elim, and Code Man, the Codester, uh, is here with Kane, his tag team partner. 
Double submission, Cody in the ring watching it happen as we creep toward a four star rating at two minutes and goes after Devon to save his tag team partner from that elimination. Suzuki reverses the calf crusher and puts Harper in the and Harper's done. Harper's done. What happened there? Like, ridiculous. But hey, it's popping the ratings, so I'll take it. One, two, three. Suzuki pins Devon. It is now Suzuki and the Monster Kane and Suzuki Goon Ichiban with that pile driver on the solid steel chair. It's ridiculous. How can Kane survive? Murder Grandpa, good lord almighty. And Cody trying his best to salvage Kane's chances against Minoru Suzuki. Kane with the chokehold locked in and nope. Nah. One, two, three. Minoru Suzuki has pinned Purple Kane and wins that elimination matchup. His profile is up in a classic four-man elim. Harper is still down. Devon's skill is up and Kane is being hindered. So almost an entire star based on that one matchup and our overall match card. Let's book John Moxley, shall we? Let's salvage this show with a TV championship match. Your TV champion, the reigning, defending, undisputed John Moxley has made it through so many different challenges and so many different four-man Elam matches and it's coming out on top every single time. Can he re continue that dominant reign here in strong style wrestling? Dean Malenko needs a victory. He has done so much for this company to increase our star ratings. He needs that victory. But can he? Will he at least get a pinfall? We'll see. Let's find out. Moxley on the outside running roughshod on Kane, but Snrub here is too busy counting Cody locked in on McIntyre in that camel clutch while Malenko just builds his meter and builds his meter and builds his meter. And Drew may have tapped there. His health went down quite a bit, but I think I heard a scream. I don't know, but Dean here is playing it safe and playing it smart in this matchup and is going to hit a finish on somebody. On somebody to get a finish. There it is. Dragon suplex. Snap dragon, if you will. Malenko pins the ex, the former champion in Drew. So a big pinfall there for Malenko. Man of 1,000 holds, if you will. Cody, you're going to get some, but Moxley, just a brawler here. And here comes that pile driver on Malenko. So, not good for the Iceman at all. German into Moxley, and Moxley gets the pin. That was Malenko's pin. That was 110% my pin, John Moxley. Like, you stole it from me. You stole it from me. I am mad. I want my credit here, Mox. I want my credit for the Iceman. Wants his credit here for being one of the best in this beardness today in strong style wrestling. Here it comes! Iceman! Code breaker! Get him, get him, get him again, get him again, get 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 him again, get him again, code breaker! And that's gonna be a rope break. You know, I don't tolerate the rope breaks. I don't. One, two, and a two count. What do I have to do to put away John Moxley? Double tough. Taken to the limit with John Moxley. Picture perfect bridging German suplex. And we have a new TV champion. Shocking upset on this fine Thursday. It is indeed the Iceman, your new champion here in strong style wrestling. Congratulations to Dean. Moxley upset and has stormed out of the arena. Don't be a baby, man. Chill. Drew has suffered and Cody and not affected. Jeff Hardy wants to fight Kylie Barrier. No. 
I wanted you to fight Matt, and you weren't here to fight Matt. So nobody wants to see that, Jeff Hardy. And certainly not these fans here in our great state of Alaska. So you aren't the booker. You're not. I'm sorry. We still have two more matches to book. How many more people do we have actually on this card to actually get in here and book is the question. Uh, we got Paige, yes. Uh, no, not, not as the ref. Um, actually, actually, what if we, yeah. What if we do that? Paige is the ref, Bailey, and Mickey. And this will be a shoot fight, and it will be a number one contender's shoot fight. So, Mickey James here, that hardcore country, in the building with Barrier, Molly, and we got Paige's referee, and Bailey. So, most of our division is here in the building. I'm sure you're all aware that I'm the reigning defending lightweight champion here in Strong Style Wrestling. I'm pleased to announce this, this match will be for the number one contendership of this title. So, boom goes the dynamite, and it is a shoot fight, so health goes to zero, and you advance to the finish line. Mickey James aiming to take out Bailey. Stomp to the head, picks her up, does it again, does it again, cutter, RKO out of nowhere from Hot Call Contra, takes out Bailey. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Come on now. Referee, call it. Come on, Paige. Are you blind? Call it. Bailey's done. She's out of here. Boom, F5. F5. There goes Bailey. Alright, alright, alright. Molly Holly, you're next. And there goes Molly. It comes down to Barrier and James. And we're here just about five stars. And Barrier uh, has more health than Mickey James. So it could be a shocking upset here from Barrier. You never know in this beardness. Rolls through. And almost five stars. So either way, I'll take it. If the ref didn't see it, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. It's hardcore. That's it. Mickey James is ruthless. Ruthless. Aggression. What? I didn't do nothing. I didn't. You didn't see nothing. It's fine. Count the match, referee. Count the match. Good lower back in the ring. It's over. Her green was at zero. Mickey James had this thing won. And what happened? And what happened, Barrier? And what happened? Huh? This is garbage fighting back, fighting spirit from Barrier. I can't believe it. That should be it. There it is. Mickey James, the new number one contender for that lightweight title. And Paige is like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. But be careful. I'll turn your dreams into nightmares. All right. We've somewhat salvaged this show thus far uh, with 5296 and fans. Uh, and Molly is up. Barrier even got some stuff there be being there in the end. So she's up, which is great. Bailey, not affected. And Mickey James, profile has risen, being in an outstanding four women's shoot fight. Which brings us to our main event. We need some star power in this main event. So, yes, Aubrey is going to referee here because getting it back in the ring, two weeks in a row, we have Mr. Attack Schnurub. I thought I made it non title. Now it's for the title. Well, look, we need Randy Orton to remain our champion because Randy's popularity helps out the popularity of this entire thing. So sure, I could be Randy, that could happen, but at the same time, we don't want Balor or Backlund because then Balor will have to get paid five grand to win as champion and we can't be having that, right? So, Snrub here in the building to make things happen in some capacity. It should be uh, something. And we got Needles ringside, we got Bailey ringside, we got a bunch of nonsense ringside. It's gonna be a problem. I can already tell. I can already tell, but Attack Slug is zeroed in on Finn Balor every single time. We doing it here, Mr. Balor and your club. We're doing it here. But Mero, former champion, Bob Backlund, one half of your tag team champions with Needles. So we had some, just a bad start here. But we're making it happen. Pop up RKO on Balor. I'll do it again. 
I'll do it again. Time and time again, Balor, because it's you and me one-on-one -on -one eventually. But right now, we must get our multi-man mayhem for popping these ratings pedigree to Finn Balor. Randy Orton, don't get in my way. Don't get in my way, man. Look, don't get in my way. I'm trying to burning hammer Finn Balor and put him in his place. Now, Aubrey, if you could be so kind as to actually count the pinfall and you didn't, that's a problem. Randy taking all the credit here as he does. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Pinning Finn Balor again. Nope. It's not enough to get it done. Burning hammer on Balor again. Aubrey, what are you doing? What am I paying you for? Two, three. And once again, Balor loses to Schnurub. He has the belt. He has the belt. Referee doesn't see it because Bailey's busy with the... Oh, disqualified. Disqualified for attacking Bob Backlund. What are you going to do? Now, at this point, the odds are stacked against the champion. We have Needles in the corner of Backlund, and we have a Bailey in the corner of a wild man. So that's a lot of interference for that business uh, to happen properly. But I believe in the power of Randy Orton. We'll see how things turn out. Will Bob Backlund tap out here is the question. Nope, he don't tap. The Viper, ready to strike. Double team was not the plan there, Mero. Not the plan there. Randy Orton, step through cutter. Mero, step through cutter. RKO, out of nowhere, but that's a rope break, so pick him up. While Backlund is distracted and hit that German, he's donezo. One, two, and he's not done. How? That was a perfect finish. Perfect finish. Don't you do it, Mark Mero. One, two, three. It is now down to Bob Backlund and Randy Orton. Mr. Backlund, if you will, you ain't gonna go down like that. What? What? Submission acumen here. Bob Backlund, got it locked in. Nope, nope, nope. And Mero is gonna cost him that matchup there. That distraction from Mero, who was mad about being knocked out. And now Bobby here, uh, this third generation talent here, Bob Backlund, going to take you down or not. Or not. Uh, it could go either way. We, 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 we could see Backlund as champion again. One, two, three. No! How? What? When? Where? Why? Hit that German, Randy. Do it. And... Backlund screaming in pain. Is that enough? Aubrey, where are you at, Aubrey? Get back in the ring. What the hell? Two and a two count. So Randy is just, he can't believe it. He can't believe it. Needles trying to make this a win for Backlund and one. Good Lord. Good Lord. Heart in my throat. Come on now. Backlund is out of it. He might have died in the ring. I don't know. But one more German... Brock Lesnar style, and that should be all she wrote. Randy Orton is still your world champion of strong style wrestling. And we salvaged the show. We salvaged the show. So that's great. We're almost at 7,000 there. We won Alaska. Fantastic. Love it. And I thought he screamed. All right, five weeks for Backland, so no tag team title Defense is five weeks, so might have to get those belts vacated. Um, we've banished Super Lucha Libre in Alaska with a new record. We did that. And a new high for strong style. Okay, submit the tape. Do it. Broadcast it. Are we number three in the world? We're still number four. Oh, yeah. We go. The gap there, though. 83 to 87 to 91. That is a very strong gap, but we're number three. We made it almost 70 grand, and we spent about 60 grand, and expenses keep going up. I don't understand why, but we still made money on that show. 
Uh, so I'll take that any day of the week. Okay, if we did 6.9, we can do 6.6. .6. So if I go here, and then fly over to Greenland, and do that to end our week. Iron Sheik and Dolph Ziggler defeated Rikishi and Hood as the new tag champs of all American wrestling. Lita, back in the ring. Omega, back in the ring. Ultimate Warrior is upset, and you can stay mad, Warrior. You got 37 more weeks of staying mad, Warrior. So, Miz's deal has expired. Gotta meet with The Miz. And Sid has arrived. So, Sid versus Omega, maybe, in Greenland. We'll see. Betty Online usurped Rising Sun in Arabia, with 17,000 uh, fans on that show. And... Oh, no! No, I was doing so good, Paul Heyman! What do you want from me? I was doing so good. Strong Style should rule Mexico instead of Super Lucha Libre. So, seize that territory by the 3rd of November, or I will fire you. I was doing so good! We're at number 3, Paul. So, come on now. Bro. The Miz's deal is up. Can we re-sign... The A-lister. I'll pay you more. And I'll push you toward that mid-card title. A push towards that TV title, held now by Dean Malenko. And I'll give you $1,700? What do you say? What do you say? Oh, uh, Miz don't like me. Miz don't like me. So, the A-lister is gone. Mickey James wants to change her gestures. Feel free. Be as hardcore country as you would like. We have a literally the next show and a break and then a show to get Mexico. And Mexico on the map here under California is at 4.9, right? But I would have to get either southwest or southeast to get to Mexico. So, I don't know that I can draw 11.6. That's a problem. Like, that's a real problem. We could be seeing a, a, a second game over here after doing all this freaking work to rule the top half of this continent.